probably two months ago, but I sort of I absolutely love coaching, being out of it for yeah, a couple of years, and yeah, I wasn't quite ready to coach against uh, St Mary at, at men's level, as they just couldn't break that level. But I went to a point when I finished playing footy, I was 35, and just went to the Sunday comp, and so I'd been at the club before. And last year, went to a, pre- you know, a couple of premiers. We had a premiership reunion with Pints, and I took the girls for training two or three times last year. And so when they come knocking on the door, I just really wanted to get back into coaching again. And yeah, I just thought it was a pretty good match because I'd been around the club a bit uh, the, the season before. I just really enjoyed my time and I just thought it was a good match. Yeah, and, and on that, it's so a lot of the time and for yourself, it's just about timing, wanting to get back in and, and a job is offered to you. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It was a, I, just, I took uh, this group for training a few times last year and, and I watched their final series and I just, it's, I just think it's a group that uh, I looked at and just thought, I, I really want to coach this group. I just thought they had an absolute... Yeah, you know, they snuck into the final. I think they come seventh, just snuck into the finals and watched their final last year. They just uh, had, they just looked like a group that had a crack. And you know, taking them for training last year, they just really wanted to, you know, really wanted to listen and really wanted to learn. I just thought it'd be a good match. So you've been uh, in the position for a couple of months now. Have you been busy recruiting or looking at what you've got and what you can bring into the side? How are numbers looking? Yeah, look, numbers. It's it's different. Uh, with, like, with women's footy, you've got say a Jasmine Hewitt that's just a, a, a gun and just a leap, just such a great leader and trains so hard. Then you've got girls turn up to train and they've never actually caught a you know touched the football before. So you've got a big level between the beginner levels, yeah, and and the really good football. So yeah, you no. Know, so numbers are really really good. I think they always you know always have been have been a pint. So been really good that way. I think with COVID, we do have a you know, couple of girls, uh, a girl called Sarah Ingham is coming up from Bendigo. She won the best and fairest at, at Golden Square, which I think is uh, a bit of a good good luck charm for me. I coached a bloke called uh, Jack Geary at St. Mary's to a few premierships and he won a couple of best on grounds in medal and he was from Golden Square as well. So look at that. Her coming up is a, a good luck charm and she's come up and she looks like she's going to be a, a good little player and you know trains really hard as well. So yeah, so I think things are looking pretty promising. I training hard and, and really enjoying it at the moment. And do you have a cut-off when you sort of welcome players in, either, either new signings or, um, you know, new players? Because uh, I'd imagine, you know, what, within sort of a, a three to four weeks, you'd, you'd be wanting a fixed team to get everything right and structured. Yeah, I don't think so. I think sort of the history or the culture of uh, the Pints Footy Club, there's a lot of nurses and teachers that sort of moved to Darwin that, you know, have played netball or, or soccer or invasion sports, other sports, and then the girls recruit them in. So, no, nah, they're, they're unbelievably friendly and welcoming welcoming groups. And uh, more with the you know, new, new girl can turn up, a tra- new, new girl to Darwin will turn up the training all the time, and they're more than welcome at any time. All right. Pre season, how's it looking? Have you started? And, and what's uh, the days like for a week? Being on now for probably a month, I reckon, two nights a week. So we train Tuesday and Thursday, and we've been doing an extra session on uh, either a Saturday or Sunday at the moment. So there's already been uh, some good good growth so far so you're just trying to set up the best football program that we can love to set up a, a footy program that, that rivals something like the vflw program down down south so we can set something up similar to that and just make an environment where you know girls want to come and play football have they noticed the change in, in what environment you want that that you're actually stepping it up um you know no disrespect to the previous coaches or the way that they've been able to be playing coaches but this sounds encouraging that you you're sort of really involved and i understand you might even have some technology that you you're going to bring into um game day and things like that which a bit, yeah. are new would be new to them I sort of we've spoken yeah you know, to, to girls like you know like Kate, Katie Stretter, Casey Morris Kathy Henderson, they've been around for a while. At points, sort of traditionally, they, they just just sneak into finals. They now lose a final, and, and they're, they're sort of out. It's a bit of a, a friendly, kick and a giggle, you know, club. Really welcoming, good club. But we're just trying to go to, in, in, a, in a different direction this year, a little bit more serious. And that's these girls are the ones. But like the leadership of this, of this team is, is unbelievable. With those girls that I've mentioned, and yeah, just sort of going from more of a, a friendly, have a kick and giggle. We're just taking a, 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 a bit more serious. It's still not, the number one thing has got to be fun. It's got to be enjoyable. But we're certainly stepping it up. And the feedback I'm getting from the girls is they do want to be pushed. They do want to take it to the next level. They do want to create a, a football program that rivals a, you know, a VFLW uh, type program.
And what about you coaching the women's side? I mean, you've done the NT Thunder women's um, VFL team. You were the assistant coach there. You've done the Waratahs team as well for the women's, taking them to a grand final. The difference between coaching men and women's side, uh, you know, would the main one be sort of, I guess, skills as, as to, you know, you could have someone that's been playing it or wanting to play for AFLW and, as you mentioned, someone that's just picking it up for the first time? Yeah, I think is that's probably the difference is the difference between a new you know, the newbie to girls that you know, a girl would been have got uh, like, you know, Casey Stratt, I said before, Casey Anderson, they've been playing footy for eight years and then you've got a girl that's just new to the club. So I think that's the different that's the probably the biggest difference from a coaching point of view or what you know, you just wanna you wanna coach a good group or good people and I just this group I just got such a good feeling about it. They're just they're, they're so energetic, they wanna take you know, they wanna build a program, they they want to have success. So I don't, with coaching, whether it be male or female, I don't see that being that big of a difference because what you want to do is you want to coach good people. You want to coach a, a, a team that wants to wants to have growth. So that way, I just think that just, there's no difference between these girls or the, 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 I was so lucky to coach at St. Mary's, the players I coached at St. Mary's, because they just wanted growth. And it's the same with these girls. They're just prepared to work so hard and they're very, very similar. Well, super impressive resume, as you mentioned, your time at St. Mary's, three grand final wins as well. Your coaching methods, it's pretty much in the family, hasn't it? You you grew up watching your dad in charge as well uh, in Queensland. So uh, it's, you know, nice to see players that have had a a good long career, but also coaching is something that they want to stay involved in the game with. Yeah, I think I've been at a footy club every day of my life since I was six years of age. (laughs) And I probably am was born into a position of privilege because I got to watch my dad coach all the time, and he was a very good coach. So I'm very, very lucky that way. And I just I absolutely love coaching. I'm you know, it's very hard for me to hold a conversation for any more than five minutes with it where it doesn't relate back to football. So uh, I love being around the around the uh, around football, and I love being at this group. It's just amazing with how much they want to learn and how hard they want to train. Well, Ricky, great to see you back with a clipboard and a whistle and, uh, more importantly, uh, Pint Women's Premier League side. Very lucky to have uh, your skills and uh, attributes at the club. Thanks for joining us in Territory Grandstand. Good luck for the next couple of weeks of uh, pre-season. We can't wait to see Game 1 with you at the helm. Yes, and thank you.